So today we're going to talk about Bahrain. Um, Bahrain is a country on the coast of Saudi Arabia. Um, pretty strict, pretty strict place. They have a lot of a lot of the crimes in their in their country are very punishable offenses. Um, they're very financially stable. Uh, drug use is among one of the lowest issues in their country. So I think this is a good place to start with trying to figure out drug prevention programs, treatment, um, resilience, etc. cetera. Uh, uh, another reason I really want to talk about Bahrain is because they utilize the U.S.'s D.A.R.E. program and got much better results. So um, it's, it's, it, it seems like a place that deserves some looking into. Um, let's just start with the big differences in D.A.R.E. in the U.S. and D.A.R.E. in Bahrain. D.A.R.E. in Bahrain. D.A.R.E. stands for Drug Abuse resistance um, education and dr uh, this program in the United States makes drugs the enemy it um, tells you all the negatives of drugs and it tries to keep a lot of the students and individuals from using drugs even though drug use is inevitable in the society that we live in um, so yeah it criminalizes drugs so which makes it more attractive to the rebel, to the to the individual that doesn't agree with the government, to the to the people who would like to experiment. Um, and in Bahrain, it's more of a there is more of a, a, a life decision making program that helps you understand the, the magnitude of the decisions that you make and um, the the benefits as well as the disadvantages to the things that you try and put into your body. Um, there also talks about, uh, oh, so the practices of D.A.R.E. in Bahrain are similar to those that were instituted in the United States. The administrators of the education or police officers are law, local law, law officials. Um, it's instituted in public schools and in private schools. Um, Bahrain is a bilingual country, so it's English and um, their natural dialect. And it's, yeah, so it's it's basically the same programs, but they have different um, measurements, different ways of examining these issues. And I feel like the biggest way that there differs in Bahrain than it does in the United States is that it's a more holistic practice. So um, in Bahrain, you have a practice that starts with the educator, which is the police officer. And, and in Bahrain, they go through extensive training to weed out those who really care about this issue from those who really don't. So I think that's very beneficial in itself in getting people who actually care about the issue to be the ones who educate and teach it and spread the message because they're going to uh, show more enthusiasm, more whatever that helps um, students understand. Um, and so that's with the educator. And then with the environment, the parents or the faculty and staff within schools are maintaining that, um, that curriculum every day so students are in school every day and they have to um, be around this message that remains constant every single day so that these different opinions aren't interjected into the way that they have just received a message from the law enforcement and lastly the parents parents are also entered um, entered into the equation so that everybody's on the same page so that these lessons that they learn from police officers that go to teachers and faculty in school also go home with them so that there is there's this constant sturdy sound foundation that people can go off of so there's less ambiguity and there's less confusion surrounding what needs to be done or how people should live their own lives and make decisions that benefit them and uh, in the in the most efficient and safe way possible.
Um, so yeah, I feel like those are the like those are the biggest reasons that Bahrain's uh, drug and crime rates are much lower than the United States. Bahrain also is very wealthy. Um, their economy is based in oil and pearls, so it's it's a lot of equity over in Bahrain. So they have a more sound um, economy, which allows for more money or more more time spent on things that don't revolve around money and uh yeah stuff like that so i don't know it's just a it's a it's just a more sound e um economy and more sound structural foundation than the united states and they utilize the program that the united states created to benefit themselves for the past seven eight years now that the u.s has failed to do in the past 30 so I thought Bahrain was a good place to start.